just arrived. About to get into my uh, little Sandra Pier gown, as you can see, very fancy indeed. So, this is my stomach now, and this is what colour I was before. <gasps> this should be illegal. What you've done is illegal. Ooh, good morning, everyone. It is another vlog. Welcome back. So, my hair looks like fucking shit. But what's new? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's literally freezing in our house this morning. I don't know why. It's so damn cold. I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that this is all glass. So it's not like, well, insulate, in, in, insulated, insulated. But it's literally freezing cold. So that's fun. I have been in bed all morning, basically, listening back to the podcast that we filmed yesterday. How it works is the guys over at Entail take the raw recording, take it into the studio or take it into like an editing software make it sound even better than it actually does through the microphone do all the fancy stuff to it uh, and then we get to listen to it back and then make changes on it so has is currently finishing off listening to it but i just spent the last hour because it was like 57 minutes listening to my own voice and now i'm just bored of hearing myself talk so i thought it'd be wise to come into the kitchen make myself some breakfast i'm gonna have some cereal just because i don't have anything else in i have beans and i really want beans on toast but we don't have any toast I had a dream that we bought bread, but we didn't buy bread, so love that. Also, this morning, just been answering some emails, and it's really exciting. Me, Has, and Anna, I don't know if I can officially say this, I'll double check, but me, Has, and Anna are doing an actual meet and greet, like, together at VidCon, which is crazy, like, being invited to VidCon. Fuck me! God, that's all I hear when I think of VidCon. But being invited to VidCon, I went last year and, like, obviously bought tickets. It's just crazy. So, yeah. Been invited to bed. Come on, guys. It's all thanks to Anastasia, obviously. But yeah, me, Haz, and Anna are gonna do like an actual meet and greet. So if you met us at Sitsi, Witsi, should I say, when we stood on the floor like as a three, we're now gonna have like an official meet and greet for the three of us, which will be really, really nice. <laughs> realized that um apparently i don't know when i'm filming i just put a cup of tea in my mouth um no i just realized we need to leave in like 20 minutes and i haven't showered and i probably should shower exfoliate do all that stuff before i go and have a spray tan so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i don't know where my speaker is i want to put some music on i will literally i'm obsessed with dermot kennedy right now so fucking good i saw him live the other night and he's incredible so i'm gonna put some dermot kennedy on get in the shower and you know clean my body scrub myself all showered and ready now as you can see me and Haz are on our way to the tube station I just realized the place where we're getting it done is in um, Covent Garden and I look like this I literally just threw on the most random outfit ever I've not moisturized my skin not done anything my hair's wet under this beanie Haz looks like this also and we're gonna Covent Garden which is quite fancy for those and then who I'm don't gonna know go vote people vote Labour yeah and then we're gonna go vote so I'm a fucking Tory jokes haha <laughs> that were just a prank guys don't worry Right, so we've just arrived. Now we're gonna get a spray tan, and it's actually raining, which is really annoying because obviously we're gonna get tan and then we're gonna go out in the rain. Just arrived. About to get into my um, little Saint Tropez gown, as you can see, very fancy indeed. I'm excited. I literally can't remember the last time that I actually fake tan, so this is gonna be really nice. Right, we have just had our tans done now. We don't look, I don't look tan right now in the camera. Um, and I'm also really wrapped up because it's actually raining, which is really annoying. So I don't want my tan to come off. We've come to Subway now to grab a sandwich. The woman that did our tan is so, so lovely. And also the woman at the front desk. I was like talking to her for such a long time talking about Drag Race. Like actually sat in a full on debate discussion about Drag Race. But yeah, we've come to grab some lunch from Subway. I literally got, I get the same thing every single time at Subway. Do you get the same thing or do you? I feel like I'm really boring. Like I should probably like experiment with it. No, you don't. Mine's different. Mine's even more boring than So mine's an Italian herbs and cheese with onions, cucumber and lettuce, turkey, cheese and toasted. Mine's the same but Italian about the... Oh. Oh, and you have to switch the sauce in it. Equally as boring, I think. I should probably experiment more. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head back home. Right, so I've literally just got back from getting my tan done now. It was really, really nice. I haven't had a spray tan in the longest time. I've only ever had two spray tans previously to this, but I think I had one for like my year 11 prom, and then one just because my mum were like, do you want to go get a spray tan? So I got a spray tan. Every other time, I'm too lazy to go have it done, but I'm also too lazy to put fake tan on. So now that I've found somewhere that can do spray tans, I am going to abuse the system and actually get them all the time because I just feel so much better with a spray tan. I haven't actually looked how tanned I am in comparison to how tanned or how pale should I say I was before because I wanted to do that on camera. So this is my stomach now 
And this is what color I was before. <gasps> oh my God. It's not even developed obviously fully yet. I'm still okay. I have to wait eight hours for it to fully develop. That's so fun. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm tanned again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have spent probably the last like two, three hours maybe just editing up my last vlog. So I've edited a vlog, done all that stuff. I am now <laughs> I've been sat with my legs crossed. Oh my god, I'm gonna have fake tan everywhere. I've been sat with my legs crossed editing on my laptop and I'm gonna show you my socks. This is bad. Look at my socks. They literally covered in fake tan. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but honestly in person, it's literally awful. Oh my god, I've got it all over my bed there as well. Oh. Anyway, fake tan drama aside, I've edited up a new vlog. I have just been and sorted my hard drive out so I always 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 when editing or doing anything file everything on a hard drive just because in case anything goes missing on my laptop I've got like a second copy of it however I've let myself go with my hard drive because I've been so busy I've not had time to sit and like actually file everything into like an organized system so my hard drive was the messiest thing ever and it literally stressed me out every time I plugged my hard drive in and saw how messy it was I literally had 600 and plus folders on my laptop that needed to be on my hard drive and that all needed to be organized so I've literally just sat for the past 45 minutes probably and sorted my hard drive out. I now have five folders on there and it feels so good and it's all organized all filed nicely so I know where everything is and I just feel like that's a big weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. I need to depop a bunch of clothes. I can't do that tonight because I've got tan on so I need to wash my tan off before I can start taking photos in clothes that I'm selling. So what I'm going to do instead is go into the kitchen see what little food I have in my cupboard and actually you know I make some food because I'm starving and then I'm going to come back. I might start a new series of Drag Race. I'm not sure. The only thing I ever have in my cupboards is pasta. So what a surprise. That's all I've got in my cupboard. So I'm going to make myself some pasta, but I also need to take my bedding off. I don't know why I look so red. I was literally complaining in the beginning of the vlog how cold our house is. And now it's boiling hot, as you can see by my face. But yeah, I'm going to take my washing off here first, actually. And then I'm going to go and, you know, make myself some pasta first job of the evening. I can't believe our dog is it's literally like six o'clock and it's this dog. <laughs> just realized we're making my bed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but my little fuzzy pillow's covered in fake tan. You're really not gonna be able to see that on camera, but like it's meant to be this shade in the corner and it's now like an orangey shade. Oh. As you can see you in the reflection look. Give us a wave, love. Hiya! <laughs> I just ordered myself a dessert can from Creams. Yeah. Can I just smell it like? Look how good this looks. Oh, and a little tiny pot of ice cream as well. Right, girls, I think it's about time that I wash this fake tan off my face. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna have a little wash. But I washed my hair this morning. Um, so I don't wanna wash it again. It just stains. Has gave me this, which is like a really like trying to be fashionable shower cap. So, hi. You are kidding. This is why I don't have my forehead out, guys. You're fucking joking, aren't ya? No, this should be illegal. What you've done is illegal. <gasps> I'm sorry, but like, I'm ugly already. So like, when I lose my hair, it's just over for me. Like, it's just gonna be fucking, it really is the new. It's not a good look. Having a forehead this big is just not, not what I want to be doing with my life, you know? It's not where, it's not my goal. It's not my end goal. I'm gonna vlog like this just because my forehead is absolutely massive. Also, I've realized since having a tan, it's made my eye bag look worse. I think it's because it's made them darker and now they look a lot worse than they actually was. Maybe they were pretty bad anyway. It's not the actual dark circles. It's like these things, just that. How do I get them to not be as apparent? Because the dark circles, like obviously you can see them a little bit but they're not like awful it's just like that or is that just my eye who knows I'm not sure anyway I'm gonna jump in the shower I look super red I think it's just because I've got out of the shower anyway I am now gonna get into bed basically I've got a busy day tomorrow we've got meetings and then we're going to bongos bingo with everyone in the evening so it'll be really fun I'm gonna vlog it all of course but for now I'm gonna head to bed it's like half past 11 I'm literally just gonna put some stuff on my iPad lay in bed go to sleep and then I'm up bright and early tomorrow because I need to edit my vlog but also we've got a meeting at 12 in the office to discuss podcasting things some potential 
exciting related podcast things as well that are coming next year potentially so yeah got a busy day tomorrow so i've got to be up bright and early so i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you did enjoy it's been a lot more chill today i don't really feel like i've done much obviously got a spray tan but apart from that that's really all i've done and edited which is just my life which is why i find it hard to vlog but i'm going to try my best if you enjoy this type of vlog smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below tell your friends do all that fun stuff and i will chat to you in the morning bye <laughs>